everyone, it's Sherry Carroll with Hero Arts here to show you a couple fun things you can do with your frame cuts. Here's a peek at the card that I'm making. I've done a frame and plus I've done my little border in different sizes and I'll show you how I did this. So to start off I've created a craft card. It's a top folding card and I've just used my regular card stock, cut it, and scored it. Then I have the painted people background from Basic Gray and I'm just inking this with my white ink and I had magic, I fast forwarded so I won't bore you with this part, but here I am, I'm just placing my cardstock onto the stamp and I like to press around with my fingers. If you've seen me in the past, this is how I like to do an entire background, it makes it really easy. So press around all the edges and then you have your stamp background. It's perfect. The next thing I have is a piece of white cardstock, and I've cut it about a quarter of an inch smaller than the dimensions of the card, so it's four by five and a quarter. And I'm just going to lightly tack this to the inside. And once I have that in place, I'm using my heart die, my frame cuts heart, and I'm just using a little bit of masking tape here just to hold it in place. So I will open the card up, and I'm going to go ahead and cut through both layers of cardstock and I'll show you the recipe I have. I have the full uh, stack of mats here on my Sizzix and then my two cutting sheets. So I'm using all the tabs and the two cutting sheets. So I'm going ahead and putting this in, putting my cutting sheet on top, and going ahead and running it through my Big Shot machine. Once I've run that through, then I can just separate, you know, get my card out of there and go ahead and unstick my masking tape from the heart center and then gently just pull the the frame cut away with the masking tape. And then I can reuse this again time and time again using the same masking tape. Okay, so now I have put my frame onto some colored cardstock and this is the basic gray kissing booth. It's a really pretty floral that comes with this set. So now I have a cut heart, and I can go ahead and tack this on the inside. And first I'll just go ahead and put a little bit of adhesive on here. And then I'll just line it up with the outside heart, and I can just go ahead and press this down in place. Next I want to create a window, and so I'm using one of the Hero Arts uh, heart stamps and this actually goes with the frame cut so this is a keys heart using my white stays on and a piece of uh, scrap acetate so now I'm just going to press this on and I'm going to be very careful not to move it around but yet I'm going to kind of wiggle around and just get some really good pressure so I get a good impression so once that's stamped here's that looks and now I'll let this dry Okay, my acetate piece is now dry and I've kind of trimmed it down a bit. What I'm doing now is adding more adhesive to the inside of the card and I can go ahead and lay my piece of acetate in here and press that onto the adhesive and now I can add a little bit more adhesive where the acetate is. And so that inside panel that I created before now creates a nice cover so you don't see that piece of acetate. kind of gives you a nice little finishing touch to the inside of the card. Okay, so now I'm going to do my message on the outside and I wanted to show you how I set this up on my press. I have a couple little hearts that I've cut out from the Hero Arts uh, other frame cut. It's the same set with some more other papers, but I set it up on my stamping press with the hearts on the outside and that way I can measure everything. So right now I've just inked it up with my Versamark ink and I'm pressing onto a strip of the basic gray paper from the kissing booth. Go ahead and press that in place. And now I can peel that off and I can use my white embossing powder now. Right now I'm getting my catch paper. I usually use like a piece of printer paper or something just to catch my embossing powder. So I'll go ahead and sprinkle this onto the stamped Versamark message. Tap off the back and I can use my heat gun now and heat my embossing powder. Now 
Next, I'm running some of the Kissing Booth paper through and I'm using one of the border punches here. And now I've attached my piece. And if you can see, I'm going to make this smaller. I'll show you when I um, pull this out again. The border is actually about an uh, inch and a half wide. And now I've just scooted my paper down. Oh, let me get this through. So now I've created, I've cut through twice and I've made it smaller or skinnier than what the actual border punch is. So punch the top first and then go back through. Here I'll show you when I pull this out. So now I have a border on each side and now I'll go ahead with the pink piece and I'll run this through and this will be the full size of the actual die. So once that's back through and I put all these together the design matches up. Oops, I have a little piece of tape on there. So now that matches up. So you run it through the die, run it through again where it's a little bit shorter, and then you can put your message on top. So now I'll go ahead and put all these together with my adhesive. Get them all put together. You can go ahead and put those onto your card and trim off the excess with your scissors. you got a couple layers there, so you might want to use a really good size scissor. I'm using like my Fiskars because it's three sheets of paper, so go ahead and trim that off. And once you have that, now you can add your little hearts back. And so now your message sits around the hearts really nicely like this. So here's another look at my finished card and I have used my white pen and I did a little bit of a sewing mark around the heart and then I added some really bright pink pearls to this. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and please visit us at www.heroarts.com for more inspiration and ideas. Thanks for watching.